Very good morning, friends. Welcome to another beautiful session today. It's day three of Gratitude Challenge. So it's really a very happy and uh, yeah, enjoying this gratitude journey. Hope you are also enjoying it. And uh, today we are going to practice the slow breathing technique or uh, just the relaxed breathing technique. And we are going to practice the same technique for the rest of the, uh, I think another 25, or, yeah, 25 days. So <clears throat> we'll practice one technique and uh, that will imbibe in our uh, memory and body muscle as well. So yes, uh, we will do this uh, for like 10 count. And today, we are going to enjoy each and every breath as if you have to visualize, like just imagine what is your favorite uh, food or fruit which you enjoy the most. Example, this is the mango season. And if you really uh, like uh, when you eat or taste that uh, sweetest uh, mango, how you will feel that joy in your mind that flashes on your uh, body and the uh, and in your face the smile the glow you get right we are going to just imagine that you are eating or tasting that uh, your favorite fruit and you just invite that vibration in your body and your, in your mind and automatically that joy with that joy and vibration we are going to enjoy each and every breath we take especially this 10 breaths that we are going to practice, the slow breathing technique. You know it, right? It just inhale to the count of four, exhale to the count of eight. That's it. Just double the count. You do the counting in your mind, in your own comfort zone. Okay, so let's start doing this. Just close your eyes, sit in any comfortable position, clasp your hands, and just like sit in a uh, relaxed uh, portion okay close your eyes just imagine you are tasting uh, your favorite fruit or any favorite fruit or sweet whichever that comes to your mind which gives you the joy and uh, uh, the smile on your face okay just imagine that you're tasting it just Invoke that happiness, joy in your body, in your mind. And now slowly bring your awareness to your breath. Now, with that joy, with that happiness, you're going to enjoy each and every inhalation and Exhalation. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly.
Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Final one. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Wow, we enjoyed each and every breath with utmost joy, utmost happiness, with utmost love towards our divine, tender, calm, soothing, relaxing breath. Now, Gently bring your awareness to your normal breathing pattern. Now, don't force or pressure your breath. Just witness your calm, balanced, ease, stillness and peaceful breath. Just witness it as if you are a third person witnessing the breath. As you witness your breath, you will connect to the present moment and you will start being in the present moment. Just witness it. Don't judge yourself. Don't criticize yourself. Just allow yourself to be yourself by simply witnessing your divine, tender, soothing breath. Have a gentle, beautiful smile on your face and enjoy the rest of the 10 minutes. Just be with your breath with utmost joy in your heart. Just witness it. Enjoy this joyful time. I will play a gentle soothing music. Thank you. 
Friends, bring your awareness back to the space where you are staying right now. Keep your eyes closed. And now we are going to read day three. Topic is magical relationships. Imagine if you were the only person on earth, you would have no desire to do anything. What would be the point in creating a painting if no one could see it? What would be the point in composing music if no one could hear it? 
what would be the point in inventing anything if there was no one to use it? There would be no reason to move from one place to another because wherever you went would be the same as you or as where you were. No one would be there. There would be no pleasure or joy in your life. It's your contact and experiences with other people that give your life joy, meaning and purpose. Because of that, your relationships affect your life more than anything else. To receive the life of your dreams, it's vital that you understand how your relationships affect your life now and how they are the most powerful channels for gratitude to start magically changing your life. Science is now confirming the wisdom of great sages of the past with research studies showing that people who practice gratitude have closer relationships, are more connected to family and friends, and have other people look upon them favorably. But probably the most astounding statistic that has come out of research studies is that for every one complaint about another person, whether in thought or word, there have to be 10 blessings for the relationship to flourish. I will read it again. For every one complaint about another person, whether in thought or words, there have to be 10 blessings for the relationship to flourish. Any less than 10 blessings for every one complaint and the relationship will deteriorate. Gratitude makes relationships flourish. Ash as you increase your gratitude for any relationship, you will magically receive an abundance of happiness and good things in that relationship. And gratitude for your relationships doesn't change only your relationship. It also changes you. No matter what your temperament is now, gratitude will give you more patience understanding, compassion and kindness to the point where you won't re even recognize yourself. The little irritations you once felt and the complaints you had in your relationships will disappear. Because when you are truly grateful for another person, there is nothing you want to change about that person. You won't criticize complain about or blame them because you are too busy being grateful for the good things about them. In fact, you won't even be able to see the things you used to complain about. There is an another beautiful quote. We can only be said to be alive in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures. Words are very powerful. So when you complain about any person, you actually harm your life. I read it again. Words are very powerful. So when you complain about any person, you actually harm your life. It is your life that will suffer. By the law of attraction, Whatever you think or say about another person, you bring to you. This is the very reason why the greatest minds and teachers of the world have told us to be grateful. They knew that for you to receive more in your life, for your life to magically increase, you have to be grateful for others 
just as they are. What if every person close to you said, I love you just the way you are? How would you feel? Today's magical practice is being grateful for people just as they are. Choose three of your closest relationships to be grateful for you. You might choose your wife, your son, your father, your business partner, your sister, or your best friend, your grandmother, or your uncle. You can choose any three relationships that are important to you as long as you have a photograph of each person. The photograph can be just of the person or the both of you together. Once you have selected your three relationships and photographs, you are ready to set the magic into motion. Sit down and think about the things you are the most grateful for about each person. What are the things you love the most about this person? What are their best qualities? You could be grateful for their patience, ability to listen, talents, strength, good judgment, wisdom, laugh, sense of humor, eyes, smile or kind heart. You could be grateful for the things you enjoy doing with the person. Or you can recall a time when the person was there for you, cared for or supported you. After you have spent some time thinking about what you are grateful for about the person, put their photograph in front of you and with a pen and a notebook or on a computer, choose the five things you are the most grateful for. Look at the photograph of the person as you make your list of five things. Begin each sentence with the magic words, thank you. Address the person by their name and then write what you are grateful for. Example, thank you, John, for always making me laugh. Thank you, mom, for supporting me through college. So when, you've, when you have finished your list for all three people, Continue with this magical practice by taking the photographs with you today and putting them in a place where you will see them often. Whenever you look at the photographs today, thank the person by saying the magic words thank you and the person name. Example, thank you Haley, thank you Raj, thank you Haim, like that. If you are moving around a lot, carry the photographs with you in your bag or pocket and make an effort to look at the photographs three times during the day and follow the same procedure. Now you know how to use gratitude's magical power to transform your relationship, relationships into magical relationships. The more you can be grateful for the good things in your relationships, the faster every relationship in your life will miraculously change. Friends, I came to the end of this chapter. I will summarize this chapter again. Magical relationships. As we do every day, the first step is count your blessing. Make a list of 5 to 10 blessings. Write why you are grateful. Reread your list at the end of each blessing. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. And feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Second point, choose three of your closest relationships and collect a photograph of each person. Third step, with the photo in front of you, write five things you are most grateful for about each person in your journal or on your computer. Fourth point, begin each sentence with the magic words, thank you. Include their name and what you are specifically grateful for. Fifth point, carry the, carry the three photographs with you today or put them in a place where you will see them often. Look at the photographs on at least three occasions. Speak to the person's face in the photograph and thank them by saying the magic words, thank you and their name. 
And sixth point, final one, before you go to sleep today, take your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you for the best thing that happened during the day. Okay, friends. Now, gently close your eyes. Let's take another two minutes to practice what we have read today. Just think of three of your closest relationship that you want to improvise. What, whoever comes first in your mind, the first three people in your mind, just have them, just choose them. That's it. Just first three people, whoever flashes in your mind. Don't use your logical thinking. Whoever flashed first three, just choose them. And now visualize them in your mind. Visualize the time that you spent with them. For this practice today, right now, right now, you take just choose out of the three people, just choose one. And then now visualize the moments the happy moments that you spent with them. Happy, joyful moments. And now, think of five things that you are grateful for that person. Think of five things that you are grateful for that person. Let's take another 30 seconds. And now, say thank you and their name. Now, gently bring your awareness back to your physical body and the space that you are living in. Gently rub your palms and place it on your eyes for five seconds. And welcome this beautiful, joyful day with loving smile on your face and Love and gratitude in your heart. Thank you. And now, as we do regularly, we are going to count, uh, count our blessings. So we are going to uh, write a uh, 5 to 10 uh, gratitude list. So let's take another uh, 5 minutes uh, to write it, write it down. I will go on mute. 
uh, please write it down. Always start writing gratitude uh, with this sentence. I am happy and grateful now. So for what, what reason? Or I'm happy and grateful to what particular person? Or I'm happy and grateful for particular situation. So yeah, you know, there. what are the different areas that you can feel grateful for, like health, relationship, wealth, um, then work, colleagues, to the nature, uh, to the food, uh, that we eat to the water so yeah please write it down if you have any questions feel free to ask or you can put it on chat thank you Friends, hope you all uh, turn with uh, five, at least a minimum of five. <laughs> yeah, things that we are grateful for. Yeah, let's take one minute uh, and uh, say, read each sentence and say, at the end of each sentence, say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Say it with utmost happiness, joyfulness, and with so much of gratitude in your heart. Okay, that's that we are going to practice now for one minute. I, I will go on mute.
Okay, friends. So today you know what to do uh, regarding the uh, practice of uh, relationship. Don't underestimate this uh, power of practice. Friends, I have uh, seen um, the improvisation even during the challenging times. I have experimented on these things and have seen uh, people uh, like uh, be, we, we don't need to like go and talk to them in person. They come and talk to you. Uh, you, you, you when you feel the gratitude in your heart because we all are energy right so apart from physical body you know the concept of telepathy right if we think of our mother sometime when in the time in need they automatically call us it's not just for the mother it's for the people whoever you feel in your heart they the thoughts and the words are energy form it will reach them irrespective of the place or where they are so uh, do this practice. What I will do is I will send the screenshot of this. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Anna ji. I will send the screenshot of this uh, summary of this practice today uh, so that you know what to do in case if you forgot. Yeah. So enjoy the rest of the day, friends. And uh, friends, if you are finding any uh, improve or that, uh, any sudden surprise of like uh, people uh, like uh, responding the way they used to be, but now they are responding in a way like a very uh, in a happier way, just share your experiences uh, uh, in the chat, like in the daily meditation group, so that it will like um, you will attract what you share. Uh, you will attract more of that. Even the smallest change that you have observed, any positive change in your life, please do share there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, amazing day. Well, thank you. Thank you, Tina Ji. Thank you, Pooja Ji. Thank you, Rohit Ji. Thank you, Anam Garu. Thank you, Anapurna Ji. <laughs> thank you, Lakshmi Garu. Thank you, friends. Uh, if, if you want to share anything, of you, if you have any questions, please do post in the daily meditation group. We will answer there. Thank you, Sneha Ji. Thank you, Lata Garu. Yeah. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, Madhavi Garu. <laughs> Thank you, Ravati Garu. See you all tomorrow at the same time. Bye. Have a fantastic day. Bye.